Mr. Crowley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Firstly, I, I would appreciate if you could enter into the record a Reuters uh, article entitled uh, Conservative Republicans at IRS Defends Treatment of the Tea Party from June 18, 2013. Uh, can you get copies of that to the committee members? We'll, we'll make sure them. Yeah, without available. objection. Thank you. Um, uh, Commissioner, welcome. I, I suspect there's been a bit more drama here than you anticipated, maybe not. Uh, this morning. I've been around a while, so it's uh, drama I'm I, used to. Well, I'm glad to hear you're a big boy. I appreciate that. We're going to talk about that in a moment. Um, but with the chairman of the full committee coming down this morning and dramatically uh, put, uh, delivering to the committee uh, what would appear to be new emails, but in fact are old emails uh, that have been uh, gone through over and over again in an attempt to find a smoking gun uh, that uh, would link uh, what has taken place or supposedly taken place at the IRS to the president. Um, uh, and, 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 I, and I have tremendous respect for the, the uh, subcommittee chairman, uh, Dr. Bustani, um, and I appreciate the, the hearing being called this morning. But let me just, in, in, in his statement before the committee just a moment ago, that uh, this is an open investigation, uh, leading to, uh, in effect, that there's been no conclusions made as of yet. But I have to read from, uh, from the chairman's uh, opening statement, and I quote, last weekend the president claimed there was not, quote, even a smidgen of corruption, end quote, at the IRS. And he blamed the targeting on, quote, boneheaded decisions, unquote, by, local, by a local office. Uh, and again, further quoting the chairman, now this committee has actually investigated the matter and found otherwise. That was too statements don't necessarily jive. And I would suspect that really it is, again, an attempt to find the smoking gun. By the numbers, 500,000, the number of pages documents provided by the IRS to the congressional committees without any indication of political motivation. 60, the number of interviews conducted by congressional committees with current and former IRS employees. 14, the number of congressional hearings where IRS personnel have answered questions related to the investigation. 5,500, the number of IRS employee emails and the Inspector General's Chief Investigators re re Investigator reviewed and concluded that no indication of political motivation before the TAPCA audit was uh, published. The IG failed to even mention this investigation, led, reviews, uh, a led review of emails until it was re revealed in July of 2013, two months after the audit was published. There was no indication, uh, and quote, there was no indication that pulling these selected applications was, was politically motivated, end quote. The head of the investigations wrote in an email to the senior staff at the TIGTA on May 3rd, two weeks before the audit was published, end quote. The email traffic indicated there were unclear processing directions and the group wanted to make sure they had guidance on processing the applications, so they pulled them. This is a very important nuance, end quote. Um, the Treasury Inspector General never mentioned that the term progressive was used to single out applications and was among the terms in the 298 applications reviewed in its audit. A July 2010 PowerPoint presentation instructed screeners to use the word progressive and emerge alongside Tea Party to select applications for further scrutiny. It, it's been, it was a much broader investigation, and again, uh, you would only, by the, test, well, by the questioning uh, of the other side, uh, it would only indicate that the Tea Party or conservative groups were targeted, when in fact, uh, uh, political persuasions of all sorts were targeted as well. And I have decried and continue that it is an outrage if the IRS does it, as you have indicated, uh, uh, Commissioner, as well, if, if any group is targeted because of their political persuasion or their religion or ethnicity, whatever it may be. Now, I mentioned before drama and the need to find a smoking gun. I mentioned there is no new material that's been brought to your attention uh, this morning. As a boy, I played cowboys and Indians, and I suspect you probably did as well. When I was back in the 60s. You probably had better equipment back when you were growing up. Um, but I remember- I was I, playing at an earlier stage. So well, I didn't want to say that, but sometimes <laughs> I had to stop in the middle, and whoever was playing the Indians, say, slow down, stay there. I got to fix my gun. I had to fix the cap gun, because if you got it just right, you could pull the, you know, the, the trigger of the cap gun, it would hit the cap just perfectly. You get a great sound, and you get an awful lot of smoke. 
Well, I suspect they found a smoking gun. It's a cap gun. And if you press it a lot, you get an awful lot of smoke. And that's what they've been doing over and over again. Commissioner, good luck to you. You'll be dealing with it for some time. We can continue to hear, I think, the same rhetoric from the other side. But remember, they have a gun. It's a smoking gun, but it's a cap gun. I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you, sir. I thank the gentleman for his fine speech. And uh, I would just want to uh, acknowledge the fact that we're still waiting on information. And in fact, there's a central committee, a central person in all of this uh, is somebody we have not had access to in this investigation. And we're still awaiting very important email uh, communication. So with that, I will Chairman, uh, just yield for a moment, now Mr. Yield to Chairman, Mr. Just for Mr. Reed. He's been waiting patiently. Mr. Chairman, just for clarification on your statement. Just some, in your opening statement, though, you did make reference to the fact, and I quote, now this committee has actually investigated the matter and found otherwise. That's a conclusion. Otherwise is that we have not completed the investigation. Interesting term of art. I appreciate it. Yield back.